When it comes to Google Grants, one of the common challenges that many nonprofits face is getting spend away. So with your Google Ad Grants, for example, you have up to $10,000 a month of spend available, but it has to be used in compliance with the program's requirements, and there are some limitations too. So getting this 10K of spend away is not going to be as easy as it would if it was a normal paid account. Um, if you're not getting spend away, that means you're not getting visitors clicking through, that means you're missing out on conversion. So it's a problem worth fixing. Today, I wanna to talk about two lesser known tactics for helping get your grant spend away. Now to set expectations, no one or two tactics by themselves will necessarily fix everything overnight, but they should certainly help. The first one has to do with the keywords you're choosing to target. So when many people do keyword research, they look at a tool like Google's Keyword Planner, which is fantastic, but they stop there and they miss out on the wealth of keyword information available to you in Google's Search Console. So Google Search Console is often used in the organic world, the SEO world, and what it does is it helps you assess the performance of your site to see what your site is ranking for in the organic search positions. Now, why this is really valuable for keyword research is you can see already what Google's organic algorithm thinks your site is relevant for. So those are great keywords to consider also targeting in your Google grant. Now, in Google Search Console, you can find out what position you're currently in. So are you ranking in position one organically, two, three, five, 100? You might like to pick some keywords that have high relevance and value to you that you're not ranking well for. So, you know, you're in position 12, you're position 15. If you add those to your grant account, um, considering if you're not targeting them already, you'll get some additional visibility and that's gonna supplement, that's like organic and paid working really well together organic and grants. So that's tactic number one you might like to consider. Number two is dynamic search ads. So dynamic search ads are a little bit different than how uh, search advertising usually works. Usually you pick the keyword. Um, with a dynamic search ad group though, Google will pick the keyword. Your job is to specify the landing page. So if you have a really big site, you might like to use uh, dynamic search ads to select a whole lot of different pages or maybe even all pages of your site. And then what will happen if you put those into your Google Ad Grants, uh, you will be eligible to start sending traffic from Ad Grants clicks to those pages. So that's a really scalable way of plugging in lots of keyword gaps that you might not have thought about. Um, so I hope you enjoy uh, giving these two tactics a try and uh, all the very best with getting as much of your ad grant spend away productively.